if we combine things that we could have dealt with more easily when they were separate. Um, once we combine them, it's very difficult to deal with them properly. Well, similarly, our body is separating out solids and liquids into different types of wastes, and it's done a lot of effort to separate those two things out. And so it makes a lot of sense to, in a building infrastructure or in a site development, to continue to keep feces and urine as separate components of how we deal with them on site, because it would be very easy, for instance, to have male urinals that go directly to plantings outside, as well as have female urinals where there's two flush options. You know, so there's all kinds of different ways in which you can explore infrastructures where we start to make use of this non-pathogen, no E. coli, as well as solving the pharmaceutical problem. So it's we're taking urine and by giving it to plants, which it has no pathogens, no E. coli, and in fact, this is an interesting little endorsement of this has just come out, which is from in the um, Brooklyn Botanic Gardens latest little newsletter that they put out. Yeah, Brooklyn <laughs> Botanic Gardens, that's right, you walked by at the right point. Um, has, has an article called A Distasteful New Fertilizer, specifically about tests they've done on using human urine in Finland published a highly positive report on the potential for using human urine in fertilized food crops. On average, an adult emits more than a quart, over two pounds of urine daily, containing approximately 18% nitrogen, 2% phosphorus, 5% potassium, all plant-friendly nutrients. And despite its pungent odor, urine doesn't tend to harbor human pathogens. Researchers grew cabbage with human urine. And this is what's interesting about it. They did it. There's lots of interesting about it. One of the things is they, um, they did a taste test to see if people could tell a difference between cabbage that had been grown with urine and cabbage that had been grown with conventional fertilizer. And people could taste the difference. But it wasn't an unpleasant difference. 